Hello everyone, and welcome to a new playthrough of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. Uh, this is the second time I'm giving this speech, because uh, the first time I gave it, I realized I had, like, the graphic settings wrong, and my like, words were falling off the side of the screen and all kinds of nasty stuff, uh, so I had to start over. But uh, I haven't started the character over. Uh, I caught it before we started the game. Um, so, what are we playing? Well, uh, I can't I can't do as, as exciting... Uh, <laughs> of a reveal as last time because part of it was my my hesitance about God I hate Felid, uh, but that's what we're gonna play. Um, you guys know I am what's called a greater player, which just means you've won every character, every good lord, every character, uh, every race, and every background at least once, and. I noticed a little while ago that I'm close to winning them all twice, so I thought I would try to make some progress towards that. The races that I haven't yet won twice are Felid, Spriggan, and Demigod. And the backgrounds are Scald and Fire Elementalist. So, Felid, Scald, pretty bad. Felids are just pretty good at, like, I mean, let's let's go ahead and pre-select Felid here, and it'll tell you what they're good at, right? Which is, like, Conjurations. It would recommend Fire Elementalist, but there's only so many recommendation slots. Basically, every everything on this side, except maybe Wizard, is pretty reasonable for a feeling. Um, and, like, Demigod Fire Elementalist is reasonable. Spriggan Scald is reasonable. I should have won one of those during CSTC, but I chose to abandon Okawaru for no good reason uh, and got murdered by him. I just did it way too early. Anyway, it's on it's on camera. You guys can watch. Uh, so in theory, I could do this without the Felid, but I wanted to try out new Sif Muna. Sif has been changed quite recently, and I have had a history of not enjoying Sif at all. And the new changes sound a lot more fun, so I want to give that a try. And you can't be a demigod of Sif, so I don't know. We're going to be a Felid Fire Elementalist. Uh, game four of a streak going for Felid makes me feel bad, but, um, Felid are, I mean, they're actually quite, holy smokes, that is way too many rats to fight at once at level one. Uh, maybe come back a bit later. Ah, God. I, I hate Felids. Um, I thought I was going to get the stab on him, and I did, but he didn't die. So this is the problem with Felids, is that you are, like, just so disgustingly fragile. Let's try to get the stab on a bat, I guess. That worked. What is this? This looks like a, a clearly a vault. Maybe an altar? To Sif? No, the Shining One. Interesting. Well, that seems like not a good god, even on Dungeon 1, honestly. Alright, don't fight this guy. Don't be an idiot. Run away until you get a little bit of MP. Try to finish him off. You're faster than he is, so you can pillar dance all day long, if necessary. Except we don't really have a safe pillar, do we? I'm glad that worked. Ugh, I just need to hit level 2. Everything's going to be so much easier when I have a little bit more of a hit point buffer to work with. But, like, Flame Tongue is a, a reasonable level 1 spell. Uh, okay, Dart Slug. Absolutely off the menu. So the thing with Felid is, even more than most characters, you should be spending a lot of time running away. Hey, don't throw stuff at me. Get out of here. That's rude. Alright, I guess we run away. Oh, here comes a hobgoblin. Run away from him. It looks like he's out of stones. Let's see if we can get him now. Unharmed. What a great spell. Ugh. 
We got him. We got him. This game. God, I hate Felids so much. <laughs> they're like... They're very fragile, obviously. And, uh... The thing is that they're also, like, extremely s safe if you play optimally. It's just extremely unpleasant to play optimally. Right? Like, we gotta do this. If it hits us once, we, you know, run away and start over. Right, but I really want to finish exploring this area so that I have this as an area I can pillar dance around. Because so far, there's not actually any place safe we can run around in circles indefinitely. Ugh, stones. They've all got stones. And I don't. I'm used to having stones. All right, cool. Uh, so we could learn Throw Flame, but I usually don't. Th uh, mm. Flame Tongue is like more MP efficient, which is pretty important early. Um, even though it's not quite as time efficient. Uh, MP is our limiting factor right now. In terms of how much damage we can dish out. What is this about? This is weird. Okay, uh, it's a little suspicious, but... Open doors looking for altars. Okay, not an altar, just a weird uh, little loot vault. Cool. Okay, we got just the ooze. Can they eat doors? I think they can. Let's find out. Looks like no, actually. Okay. There's a ring. Oh, I want the ring, but I don't want to fight these two guys both at once. Really, I didn't want to fight the Hobgoblin at all just yet. I wanted to put the ring on first. Okay, well, you know, it's not the best ring I've ever had, but I'll take it. Okay. So, we're at full MP, we can sort of try the fighting the ooze, and we can run away if it goes badly. Got him. The early game with Felids, I don't know. Mm, in a sense... Oh yeah, shut the door, we don't want to fight a dart slug when we're not at full health. In a sense, Felids ought to be everything I love about the early game, because everything is so delicate and surgical, every move matters. And that's a big part of what I like about getting a new character started is, hello? How did you get in here? Um, is that player skill... Somebody opened the door. Must have been a goblin or something. Uh, player skill makes a big difference. And, uh... I like that. Because it's a way I can tell myself, like, Wow, you're so good at this game. Way to go. I mean, it sounds a little narcissistic, but, um... It's a real differentiator, you know? Like, uh, I don't die a ton in the early game. Uh, that's where I do most of my dying, it's, you know, for sure. It's a hard place to be. Um, oh, yeah, let's not, let's not go there. I was going to chase down the jackal, and I think I'd be okay against one jackal, but there's no such thing as one jackal. Was, was something excluded up here? Oh, I see. It was just worried there might be... The rats might be able to see this square, so it was excluded. Fine. Um, anyway. Jeez, more rats! This place is nuts! There's a lot of experience in there that I definitely want to go back for soon, but I can't fight eight rats at once. Oh, or like five jackals. All right. They're all awake, but only one of them saw me. And I believe cats are as fast as jackals. It looks like he's actually catching up to me a bit. So maybe not. No? Yeah, there. Yeah, he is. Okay. No, don't you dare double jackal team me. I'm going to come up. Hmm. I'm trying to manage line of sight so only one of them sees me, but it's kind of awkward. No, No adders in my life, please. 
Celids are exhausting. I've only just started this video, and it's like... I need a break. God. I mean, Dungeon 1 is exhausting in general, but Felids are worse. You know what? Take that exclusion off. The Jackal is not there anymore. He's not here either. We have some scrolls and potions available if things get really hairy. But honestly, running away is likely to be at least as good a solution. Because we don't know what these scrolls and potions are just yet. So, unless we run into an enemy so fast we can't run away, like an adder, uh, it'll usually be better to just do the known safe thing of getting away from the bad guys. I think it's probably about time to go check out that rat warren. Oh, don't do that. I should have left the dart slug alone. Can I still get away? Or do I try to kill it? I should have just walked away. He hadn't seen me. I could have probably gotten away. Um, how slow is a dart slug? slow. <sighs> Their speed is like 8, I think, and Felid speed is like 12? Maybe? I don't know exactly how all the measurements work. But I'm thinking... If I just run through this door, I minimize my exposure to him. Right? Yeah. Okay. I was trying to decide between that and running around the corner up here, and I decided that he was going to get very few shots at me. Very few opportunities to take an action uh, if I shut the door. Well, that's a reminder. Don't fight dart slugs, you idiot. This is why I don't have a 30-game win streak. <laughs> Hubris. What was that? Oh, dart slug again. There's the adder. Well, got away from him. I still, I still want to fight the rats in small groups. I do not wish to fight them all at once. Um, let's do intelligence. I think. I hear people say you should like never do int, but I think as a cat, like we can't use strength. I, I think int is the right thing. And uh, we can learn Conjure Flame, which is great. It's a great escape spell. Area control, really, more than escape. But as a Felid, uh, we're so fast, we can kind of use it in situations where other races can't. Um, the thing with, with Conjure Flame is you sort of have to use it proactively while there's still space between you and the monster, so it's not exactly an escape option. Um, but Felids move fast enough to create space where necessary. Um, so you can use it in, uh, in more situations. This adder does not give up. Uh, oh, I thought that was a different dart slug. I should have left him on auto-exclude, or exclude, whatever. Auto travel exclusion. Um, I thought he was the other one, the one who had already seen us and therefore wasn't still there. <sighs> Get out of here! I don't super mind the jackal. Yeah, that was fine. But the adder can be instant death. Yeah, I think maybe we've actually um, squeezed enough value out of that room. And indeed, this floor. Um, let's go somewhere where we don't know that there's a, an adder. Okay, so dungeon one taken care of. Next level, we'll get an extra life, so that'll be a relief. Um, but of course we don't actually want to use it. 
still, it's it's a a nice safety cushion to have as a field where you sort of lack a lot of safety cushions. All right, so this is like obviously way too many bad guys. Let's just leave them alone and go somewhere else where there's fewer bad guys at once. We have Flame Tongue, which does like pretty solid damage. Uh, so we can we can handle most monsters that are going to show up here, but definitely not all, and definitely not all at once. We have only 14 hit points, right? So that's, I mean, that's that's just feelid things. Ugh. And all three stairs are here, so we kind of have to cross paths with one of these groups of monsters. Which group do we choose? Um, and how castle is Conjure Flame right now? 21, okay. So like something that would be nice to do is like put down a Conjure Flame, right? And then throw Flame Tongues over it. It's pretty good in theory, uh, but... But we don't have a lot of MP to do that with, is a, a big part of the problem. Um, could we like lure monsters upstairs or something out of this place, somewhere safer? Um, or split the pack up? Like, I think I could get the adder alone if I wanted to. And then I could probably get. The rat, maybe? Maybe I'd get the goblin at the same time. But, um... I guess since we have to make progress on this, I do want to get the adder alone. I think we're at, like, level 3. We have a chance against an adder, especially if we use Conjure Flame. I can't get him alone easily, huh? Yikes. Well, we got... Alright, we finished off the adder, and now we're fast enough to run from everything else so that we can pillar dance and get our MP back. I mean, it's not exactly pillar dancing when we're running around the entire floor as we know it. But... Um, it's sort of the same. I guess I actually probably could have gone upstairs, huh? <laughs> Funnily enough, I've sort of ducked back around to where the monsters were. Uh, great, I guess. Still don't want to fight adders if I don't have to. I'll, I'll chase down this goblin, though. Let's try to... yeah, we got him. Got him isolated, and at a distance. Uh, so... Felids, huh? How do you guys feel about Felid? This is a... Tree? Is this a Fedos altar? Are we hippies here? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I could do the dream, right? Play a Felid fire elementalist of Fedos. The fee, fee, fee. Uh, I mean, it's not really what I had in mind, but Fedhas is very strong, and Felids are tough to win with, uh, tough to survive in the early game. They're just, I don't know. There's a lot of situations that you can survive as a Felid, but it's difficult to win the game when you're constantly running away from everything, even stuff that most characters would consider fluff. Chaff, I guess. Uh, anyway, and Fedos, I guess, would help. I mean, Wandering Mushrooms are just insane. I was planning to go Sif, but you know me. Um, I'm all about 
like trying to win once I've started the game. I don't know. And this character feels so weak. <laughs> I think I have to take uh, this uh, Fed Hoss altar. How many Fed Hoss? Uh, I have like four Fed Hoss games and three wins. Or two wins. Let's check. I have one, two, three, four, five Fed Hoss games. Um, oh, I forgot the Tengu Transmuter of Fed Hoss. That was sad. Yeah, and oh, three wins actually. Goodness. Well, <laughs> here's the number four, I guess. I really have to do it. Um, and let's, before, I know I'm going to forget. And, uh... What's another key I don't actually need for anything? I think they made... No, 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 no. They made that key do nothing, okay. So we'll make that actually butcher corpses. So I always forget when I'm fed Hoss to pray instead of butcher, and especially on a Felid, uh, who is carnivorous and can therefore be like extremely full most of the game. Um, wow, faded altar. I don't have to consider that because I might have done it. Um, a worm. What am I talking about? Macros. I forget uh, to actually pray to sacrifice corpses because Fedos is now the only god where you have to do that. And so I would just chop up corpses and be like, why is, why is my piety not going up? Um, Uh, so I've, I've macroed it so that if I unintentionally, or rather absent-mindedly, say to butcher something, uh, it'll ask me if I'm sure. <laughs> um, because I probably will not be. It'll be just a sort of muscle memory slash habit uh, to eat things after killing them. Whereas what I should do is that! Make some toadstools. All right, well, there's more gods here that we could have chosen uh, if we had waited. Sif! Sif is right here! Oh, well. Um, I think Sif would... I think new Sif is a lot more interesting than old Sif, even though I haven't actually played new Sif. Um, and probably a lot more... A lot stronger in the early game uh, than Sif used to be because. Let's just wait here until he wakes up. I've been skipping a lot of turns in a row. There we go. With old Sif, this is kind of a problem. Um. You uh, you didn't really get gif gifts. You didn't get much of anything to help you in the early game. You get channeling, which is like great if you're a summoner and can afford to pass turns when you're at zero MP. But for like a conjurer or something, you really can't do that. Where are the stairs up? I gotta get out of here. Abort fighting this adder. I think he might have lost me, actually. Um, anyway, when you, uh, when you're a conjurer, if you're at zero MP, you can't afford to just start passing turns to get it back. Uh, you need something else. Uh, so channeling was not that useful. And the book gifts didn't come until extremely late. And now they only come very late. Oh, big improvement there. Um, I, I want to sacrifice that goblin corpse, but there's this adder who's being a problem. All right, well, I guess we're fighting them. We got him. Okay, 
And an extra life, thank goodness. Um, and there's nothing up here. So new Sif gives you more interesting abilities earlier. Um, you get something that's kind of like Trog's Hand, but for magic regen instead of health regen. And you can also uh, cast spells when, without costing your... If you, if you lack the MP needed to cast a spell, you can cast it anyway. Uh, and you're then silenced for some number of turns after that based on how much MP you borrowed from Sif. Um, which is, like... Pretty cool, I think. Uh, I want that potion, but I don't. I don't want to fight Terrence. It's just not a good idea. Um, you know, maybe we can come back someday, but now is not the time. Uh, since we're level four, we can learn Sticky Flame, which is very strong. Uh, although we lack the number of spell levels necessary. Um, that's sort of fine, because um, it probably won't be castable until we hit level 5 anyway. Uh, I actually could train a little bit of spell casting, maybe, to get some more MP. No, bad plan, bad plan. Uh, I need damage more than I need MP, and uh, I would just be fooling myself. I would really be training it for the spell level, which is, I think, a bad decision right now. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to go downstairs. See ya. See ya, Terrence. Sticky Flame is very good. Um, it's just not actually castable yet, and so I don't want to do something silly like dump XP into getting spell levels so that I can memorize a spell that I can't actually use. Interesting that stones are marked as useless, even though I might choose to learn um, Sandblast. Alright, we'll just uh, rest a bit here. Because, of course, even as a Felid, I believe you can still wield stones to make Sandblast stronger. Um, I suspect that if I were to learn Sandblast, the game would say, oh, these aren't useless. Uh, but for now, it marks them as useless. All right, so let's... Okay. I'm glad we haven't miscast Conjure Flame at all yet. Conjurations hits level 3. All right, let's even it out a bit now. Train them equally. I, was, I had uh, Conjurations focused because it was... It starts at a lower level than fire magic for a fire elementalist, um, which makes it cheaper to train, but it's just as useful to you as, as fire magic, and almost certainly, in fact, more useful, because every fire spell also uses conjurations, except for like two spells that nobody ever casts. So training conjurations um, improves your damage output just as much. Ooh as training fire magic does. So since it's cheaper, you want to put a little more experience into it at the beginning of the game. I want to try to clear this floor before I read... Okay. Mm before I read my scroll. scrolls. I have some uh, unidentified scrolls, and hopefully one of them is Remove Curse, because I don't like a ring of loudness on a felid. Um, one thing is, uh, Conjure Flame is good against ghosts if you can stand next to them for a few turns, uh, but we currently cannot. So we're just going to run away. I hope, hope, hope with that adder. Oh my gosh, what am I going to do? There's almost certainly an adder at the under other end of this hallway and a ghost at the end we're currently dealing with. And if I get caught between the two, I'll be just super, super dead. Uh, on the other hand, we may be able to just fight the adder. 
we've been doing it with Conjure Flame, and only a few casts. Yeah, we gotta fight the Adder. Uh, oh, he just walked away. All right. Anyway, it's cost us... We've been at, like, zero MP when we finished fighting Adders so far, um, but this has been because we have been using Conjure Flame. All right, let's see if we can get around this guy. Okay, I mean, the thing is, he's going to get a hit or two. All right, just one, thank goodness. Now there's this adder, though. Now the adder is a problem. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we need... Okay, so we can't really run away from the adder. He's too fast. But we can fight the adder buffering between us and the ghost. Then once the adder is dead, is this a shaft, I think? No, it's a teleport trap. Hmm. Oh, uh, but I don't really need one. I can just use some stairs. Just double check these go nowhere dangerous, indeed. And up we go. So we, we definitely did, I think, risk death there. Um, the ghost could have been a bit less uh, friendly hit us a few more times and uh, you know hitting us just like once or twice could be a death sentence if uh, he rolls well um, but he didn't roll well enough to kill us and that's um, that's what counts we minimized our exposure by like trying to duck and dodge around him uh, so he didn't get as many chances to hit but he, he still could have killed us for sure well maybe not for sure but I think anyway I just wanted to finish exploring this area. I think we can we can juke a ghost pretty well as a felid. That's something that uh, is uh, an advantage of playing a felid. Yeah, I uh, I notice I nearly choked on those words. An advantage of playing a felid. Who could who could say such a thing? What kind of monster would you have to be to admit that there's something good about playing a felid? But you know that's just the way of life. You know, sometimes you have to admit things that you wish weren't true. <laughs> uh, and being able to run away from ghosts uh, much more easily than other characters can is nice. Um, I forgot. We were going to identify some scrolls. Recharging is no good. Remove curse is fine. We picked up a ring of intelligence. Uh, Sticky Flame, still not really castable, so it's fine that we are not memorizing it, that we don't have enough spell levels for it. Maybe by level 5 it will be, but honestly, probably not. It's sort of a mid-game, well, I don't know about mid-game, but it's an early game spell, but it's late early game. Uh... Right, like kind of... Early lair is about when I would like like to have Sticky Flame up. It would be great to have it earlier, and you can have it earlier. But early lair is like early enough, I think. Um, on the other hand, you know, this character could use all the help he can get. Uh, put Q on. Okay, Ring of Ice. Well. It no longer gives you a negative, uh, am I right about that? Yeah, you no longer get negative spell enhancers. Um, but I still am not excited to wear a Ring of Ice. I, I'm keeping it as a swap in case we run into like an Ice Beast or something. Uh, a bunch of skeletons. So they're another thing that... Um, Conjure Flame is good against. Skeletons are too dumb to walk around fire. Yeah, all right. Flame Tongue killed him. But if it hadn't, um, Conjure Flame would have. Come on, wake up. 
Yeah, so you set the Conjure Flame down, and then you sort of get started on adding extra damage with Flame done. Great, and we get uh, level 5. Learn Sticky Flame. Yes. Um, B? I kind of like Fireball on F. Hmm. T, that's where I usually put this. Um, when Fire Magic hits 4... I might train dodging or spell casting or something because like my MP is a little low, uh, but I think probably not. I think it's probably more important to just get Sticky Flame up um, because it really will be able to devastate the enemies this early in the game. Um, is this mindless? It is. So we can do this, and she just walk in, right? Yeah. So that's Fire Elementalist, is being proactive with Conjure Flame. It's not, not quite as much of an area denial class as Wizard is class. I like background over class. Um, class sort of calls to mind things like RPGs, where your class strictly limits the things you can do all game. Whereas in Dungeon Crawl, it's just... Uh, a starter kit and sort of a suggestion box. So another demon spawn, ghost. I'm tempted to put down a conjure flame and like let him take some damage. I'm pretty sure that's dumb and I should just leave though. Where's the stairs? Way down there, huh? Yeah, let's just leave. Um, maybe we'll fight this adder, depending on how things go. Curiously, it seems like, no, I was about to say, it seems like he's lost me, but it's just that I'm faster than I realized is all. Okay, so it looks like we have the adder to ourselves, basically. Yeah, I think it's still better to use flame time, though. I would use sticky flame for something that I can safely kite if things don't go well. Um... It's sort of it's a very high damage option. Uh, but in terms of like expected amount of damage done per MP spent, uh, flame tongue is much higher. Can I uh, yeah, stay away please? Ah, oh, there's this dang ghost again. I don't know. So Sticky Flame is not yet a good spell for us, I think. It, it can be. It will be. Um, and I don't know. Uh, if we were in a dire, dire situation where we can't use Conjure Flame and we can't run away... And the thing is going to do too much damage to us per turn for uh, us to spend turns casting Flame Tongue. I might use Sticky Flame. An ogre. Hmm. But see, like this is just such a good and easy strat for killing monsters. Look at that, we killed an ogre. Too good. We got, we doubled our armor. Doubled it, guys. We have two now. I'm a little disappointed we don't have uh, one pip of fed hospiety yet. That would be a humongous help. Just because we could create one wandering mushroom which is like enough to kill anything on dungeon 4. I hate having to mess with these orcs. I don't think I've forgotten any oh jeez. Any um oh my god, the player ghost is here too. I don't think I've forgotten to prey on any corpses is what I meant to say. 
So I think we've been we've gotten all the piety we could. Uh, let's come down here. There should be nothing in here, right? No, oh, yeah, just a shortcut. All right, skeletons, as I said, just conjure flame, and they just kill themselves. Giant frog, scary business. Is he gone? Looks like he's gone. Um, I was prepared to fight him if I had to with... I'm not sure. I was thinking of Conjure Flame and Flame Tongue, but maybe Sticky Flame would have been the better answer. Because I think Sticky Flame would, like, kill him. Probably. We're, ants are no longer mindless, so... You can't use um, Conjure Flame against them like you can against Skeletons. But you can still do this like you do against Intelligent Mind. No, I'm not sure. I, as I pressed C, I was like, oh my god, I'm pressing C. Uh, but uh, that's what that macro is there for, because I know I can't trust myself. Uh, okay, most of this floor is cleaned up. So let's see about this area again. Oh, there's this dang ghost. He's walking away. Where's the iguana? He's down there. All right, we can probably sticky flame this guy. It seems like a good plan. Oh, he's almost dead. Let's just not sticky flame him. It just took two flame tongues. Like, what a spell, right? Jeez. Level one spells in this game are all overpowered. Uh, there's a lot of them that I would not call overpowered. Um, Okay, well, this is exciting. Let's. I was going to fight that orc, but then I realized I was going to be trapped with the ghost if I did that. By, by running away before fighting, I made it possible to run away from the ghost. Uh, so we have explored, I believe, yeah, all of Dungeon 4. Um, Auto Explorer is notifying me there are a few places uh, where, well, notably like here, where it's like, oh, there could be, could be, you know, gold dragon armor lying on the floor right, right here. Go get it. Um, but A, we don't even want gold dragon armor. And uh, B, uh, I just don't think that's very likely. <laughs> There's just a wall there, you guys know, uh, just as well as I do. Uh, so we're, we made it to Dungeon 4. We finished Dungeon 4. We made it to Dungeon 5. And it's been a long video, long-ish. <sighs> That's the early game for you, but uh, so far it's been going pretty well, so uh, I'm optimistic. Uh, I hope you guys, I'm optimistic you'll stick around as well, so, so there. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.